The Cheltenham Festival is underway for yet another year and one man who will be paying particular attention to the 450 race today is Swindon Supermarine Chairman. Jez Webb, thanks for joining me today. So yeah, please explain why you're looking forward so much to the 10 to 5 race today. Yeah, well, we're, we're uh, lucky to own a horse called Duke of Medina. Um, I have horse race, um, horse racing in my blood because mum and dad um, have always uh, bred horses, race horses, and um, it's something I wanted to carry on after um, dad's death last year. And um, delighted that um, we've been lucky, and, and it is luck, uh, lucky enough to um, have a horse that's good enough to run at the Cheltenham Festival. So it's a dream come true. Fantastic. And so, what do you, what do you think your dad would be saying to you today? Uh, he would be saying, keep, probably keep off the drink, I should think. Yeah, he would be saying, uh, I think he would be very quiet if he was with us today. He would be, you know, he tried for 55 years to breed a horse to, that was good enough to run at the, at the champion, uh, at the Cheltenham Festival. But the thing is, you know, we, the horse is good enough to be in the race. Uh, a, a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say a lot of people, but a few people run run the horse at the fest run their horse at the festival to to have a, a day out and um have a great experience but duke medina is worthy of a run in in the fred winter hurdle yeah at 450. superb and i can see just how excited you are for today but how do you think you're going to feel just before the ropes go up i'm not sure I'll, I'll be i'll be very very emotional because um because dad because it was something dad always wanted to do. I'll be emotional because um, mum won't be there because she's she's on holiday and she nearly called that off at the last minute. And I'd I'd, I'd have loved to have been there with mum. Uh, I'll be very I'll be really really emotional today. There's no question about that. And Jez, we know you love your sports. You're invested in Swindon Supermarine. You're also sponsoring Swindon area sportsmen and sports people. But where does today rank in your sporting investments for you? <laughs> yeah, well. Um, yeah, it, it has to be. I think today's probably the pinnacle. I think um, to have a worthy runner at the Cheltenham Festival has to be right at the top. But uh, I think one occasion would have pushed that close, and that was just as I was getting with uh, involved with Swindon Supermarine. We got through to the second round of the FA Cup, and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't on the, even on the committee then, let alone chairman. And um, to go to Colchester in the second round of the FA Cup would have been. Would have put, it would have pushed today very, very close. If not, it would have um, you know, been above it. But yeah, how lucky, I'm so lucky. I'm just so lucky. It's uh, that I'm, you know, as a family, we're getting so much enjoyment out of these amazing sports and hopefully helping one or two on the way. Superb. And I've got a couple of pounds loose in my pocket. Should I be putting it on the Duke of Medina? Um, I'm not going to put anything on him because the, the race is so competitive. Uh, there's 22 in the race. There's a lot of horses there carrying a lot less weight than Duke of Medina that are unexposed. People don't know a lot about them. They've come over from France. So I, you know, look, if the Duke comes in, in the first 15, it's a dream. The dream, the dream is we're stood here now. We're, we're waiting to be picked up by a helicopter, which um, it was won as a bet. Um, my best man is back in the building there, and he said, if you ever get a horse at uh, Cheltenham, I'll pay for the helicopter. So uh, he was... He was very disappointed on the Duke's first run of the season because he showed real class and I said we're going to Cheltenham. So uh, yeah, oh, it's just it's, it's an absolute dream to be here and um, we're not expecting anything. Keep, keep your money in your pocket, Craig, I would. Keep your money in your pocket. <laughs> OK, thanks, Jess. Well, that, that is an incredible story. So your best man, did he just say off the cuff, like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll get you a helicopter and it's actually come to fruition? He said it three years ago. He said, if you, I said, oh, I'm going to carry on with, um, you know, maybe owning a share in a horse or buying a horse. I said, it'd, it'd be amazing to go to Cheltenham. He said, well, no one goes to Cheltenham. He said, that is just so impossible. And uh, to think we stood here now, at, you know, six hours before the race, uh, it's it's amazing. I, you know, I wish Dad was here, wish Mum was here. I've got my amazing wife in there, Leanne, so she's here to help help me enjoy it. And the kids wanted a day off school. Uh, I could ramble on and on and on. But yeah, that that's the story with the helicopter. Is uh, yeah, it's all paid for by John Fleming, my best man, and I cannot wait to see him pay for the for the helicopter. I cannot wait. It's going to be an amazing moment. Probably be best moment of the day actually seeing get his hand in his pocket. Fantastic, Jez. Thanks for your time. Enjoy yourself, and I'm sure your dad will be with you there watching anyway. I'm sure he will. Thank you, Craig, very Thank you. much.